Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today, we're doing a new level. It's called Curtains Down, in which we're gonna make it curtains for two guys. <laughs> that sounded way cooler in my head. Uh, have a cutscene. The scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? Myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look. Hello, 47. We've got some business at the Paris Opera. There are two targets, the famous tenor and Richard de la Hunt, the American ambassador to the Vatican. Our client claims they're behind a prostitution ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. Ambassador de la Hunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theater for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. All right, so that was a mouthful from Diana. Now we're going to take a look at the sniper rifle, the W2000, and we're going to get the low velocity ammo and the, uh, let's see here, the double clip, the double capacity clip, because it's not that we need more shots, it's just that it gets rid of the bolt action, and it's nice to be able to fire twice quickly. Let's get some painkillers uh, in case we get into a firefight and we can heal ourselves. And the binoculars are useless, but the lockpick is very useful. It's nothing more annoying than having someone sneak up on you while you're trying to pick a lock. So here we are at the opera in Paris. And to our right, we can see something that looks a little familiar. Now, I told you guys before that in the newspaper, things pop up that may have relevance later. And I was right, because I knew ahead of time. Now, there's a lot of people in here, a lot of guards. Uh, right there to the front is one of the guys we want to kill. There's no way we can get through that door without basically killing everyone in the lobby. Um, but hey, this guy right here has what we need. And I'm not talking about his toolbox, although that could be useful. I'm talking about, of course, his clothes. Uh, the worker in the stage can go pretty much anywhere. Except for the stage. But, uh, we don't really want to go to the stage. Uh, we don't want to get that close to our target. After all, I did bring a sniper rifle. 
Now, I'm getting my sedative ready because we don't want to kill that guy. We just want to put him to sleep. Right, Agent 47? You don't want to hurt anybody, right? Right. So, here he comes. And we're going to wait for him to take his dick out before we put him to sleep. And there he goes, and here we go. I'm going to put him to sleep. Now, now, there you go. Nighty night. And uh, let's take his clothes. Let's get him naked. There we go. And we're going to drag him into this convenient bin in the bathroom. Now you got to wonder what this bin is here for. Uh, I don't know. Dirty laundry or something? Uh, I don't know. So now we've got a case, and no one will wonder why a. a uh, maintenance guy has a fancy briefcase although everyone's gonna look at me kind of reminds me back in my days when i was 12 or 13 i was very self-conscious i kind of felt like everyone was staring at me and they probably were because i had a big afro hey buddy how's it going um so people probably were staring at me and that's why i like hitman blood money because it gets it lets me relive my childhood so, going through this door, you can see this cage, and actually, that goes right behind the stage, and most people might think that's a good place to snipe from, but it's really not, because it's easy for people to see you, it's easy to miss without an upgraded scope, which we don't have, and we don't have access to yet, and unless you have a silencer 2, I believe, the actors on stage will hear the gunshot anyway so really it's a terrible place to shoot from so um okay to the right are the actors um we won't be going to the rooms in this playthrough but the next playthrough the silent assassin run i promise we will and okay i can't speak french but i do understand that that's the stage and Understandably, they don't want us to go there. 